welcome to my job. Where I drive a truck. It's pretty cool. I'm uh, pretty sure this is filming in... about the GoPro is that the battery does drain pretty fast like I got this camera out just a few minutes ago and it was like at 83% it's already at 69% which is a little freaky to me but we'll figure it out I guess no you're not the only one
space in my memory card too, like it was like three hours and fifty minutes or so, which is great. Everybody wants to rule the
one thing I haven't been able to get past. Like the longest I've ever gone with anything fast and related is 21 days. I did a water fast for 21 days, right? And it went really well. Um, but, you know, I don't know if I'd go that long in the, in the future, but I'm just saying, like, what if I did something less uh, intense than that, but did it for 60 plus days until it became a real habit? And uh, so I think that's definitely what I'm going to do. So. Um, I started a couple days ago. I made this meal that was. It had. I, I found it on TikTok actually. I I never thought I would get a TikTok, and now I have a TikTok. So fi find me on TikTok. I'm uh, Jake a Vision. Jake a Vision. All one word. Um. And there's this guy, and he was like. I mean, he started off kind of corny. He's like, I want you to have the body of your dreams. Like, he, uh, you know how people start off their videos. Right? But the, the thing he said next was, and that starts with the proper nutrition. And I was like, okay, I can't argue with that. That's true. And uh, he proceeds to go through this meal that he makes every day for lunch. And it looked really good. It has quinoa. It has uh, bell peppers, which... I don't like peppers, so I just left those out. I actually substitute the peppers with cauliflower and broccoli. Um, or broccoli, I should say, because he actually uses cauliflower too. So I did cauliflower and broccoli, sweet potatoes, um, uh, and he didn't put chicken in it, but I put like chicken cubes in it, and uh, he seasoned it up with like paprika, salt, pepper. So I did that too. And, it's, it's pretty good, you know, it's pretty, I, I like it a lot. Uh, oh, also Brussels sprouts, I forgot the Brussels sprouts, which I've never had Brussels sprouts, I've never had a single Brussels sprout until the other day when I tried this meal, and they're good, they're, I, I like them. There's nothing I don't like about Brussels sprouts. There's so many foods that I haven't tried before that I tried, I'm like, that's good, like, uh, that, that people, normally are like, ew, that's disgusting, and, um, Brussels sprouts is one, and then, uh, the other one is, um, sauerkraut, I surprisingly love sauerkraut, I, I was at a gas station one day, I got a hot dog, and I put sauerkraut on it, because that was an option, and now I don't get a hot dog at a gas station without getting sauerkraut on it, which is, it's just so good, um, Basically, um, basically, I made a bunch of this stuff and I portioned it out into four different containers. And I'm gonna try and have one a day and have that be like my meal because uh, it gives you a lot of energy, it's really healthy, and the only thing is it's like pretty darn low in calories. I think it's like maybe 500 calories per thing. So I might have two containers worth, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, other thing, I may have COVID. <laughs> um, the other day, my nose got super runny out of nowhere. I got a massive headache, and my uh, I just threw up spontaneously. And then my lungs really started hurting. And I, I would I had like a dry cough. Like right right now, I'm talking and my throat's getting dry. But um, yeah, I had like a really dry cough, and uh, uh, the worst thing about
have it. And I feel bad because my brother's girlfriend was visiting uh, and I went over to see all of them and hang out. And I probably gave it to all of them. Probably gave it to my wife, my daughter, my sister-in-law who's visiting us. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I just know that as of right now, the symptoms are pretty much fine, except for like a little bit of dryness in my throat and my lungs are super sore. Um, like I can feel this pain and specifically my lungs, which is crazy. But, um, So, I've got these meals um, that I put together that I talked about, the chicken and Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes and what else? Quinoa, broccoli, cauliflower. Super healthy, super good. I figured out how many calories there were and then I forgot. So, right now, I'm gonna take you on a little journey Sorry for the noise, if there's any. Um, take you on a little journey inside of Flying J to warm it up and maybe get a fork or something. That'll be nice. Wow, sorry. Um, so it's a bit windy out, it's a bit cold. go all right so now we're going to uh flying j and the cool thing about this is that i don't have to hold it up at a certain height i mean i guess like it it makes a difference if i hold it up here or i hold it down here that's like where you'll see me but i just mean i guess i mean i don't have to point it at anything in particular which is nice like if I want, if I want to show that blue truck right there, I don't have to point at it. You know, if I want to look at that Flying J logo over there, or that Midland trailer, I don't have to point at it. I just hold this up. It's basically what Google Maps has been doing forever. They basically have a large version of this camera strapped on top of a car and they'll go down all these streets and that's what Google Street View is. You can just drop, drop yourself down in any street that the Google car went down and uh, you can look all over, which is pretty cool. And now it's just a uh, consumer product, which is nice. but. So the biggest thing is, does this place have a microwave? I'm guessing it does. Usually they do. Not sure which microphone I've got hooked up to this, if it's the front facing one or the back facing one. I made a mistake earlier turning on the front facing one thinking this was the front facing one and it was actually the back facing one so it's a little annoying but walk through here they usually have a microwave or something back here sometimes Okay, thank you. 
There it is. Found the microwave. Let's stick this bad boy in there. How long do you think it should go? Like let's do two and a half minutes. In the meantime. I can get a feel like a Pepsi or something. I want something that'll keep me awake. Not that I'm like super tired or anything. You know what? I'm feeling fine. I might go with a Sprite Zero because those are actually really good. I didn't, I'm not usually a Sprite person. Oh, they're not even cold. Huh. Must have just restocked. Hmm. Maybe I will go with a Coke Zero. Can't go wrong with Coke Zero. Yeah, I guess they're kind of cold. That'll work. What else do I need? Probably nothing. Just trying to keep the calories low, you know. And oops, sorry, man. Trying to keep the calories low. I had a donut this morning, but it was only like 200 calories, and I think this meal is like five or six hundred calories, which isn't isn't bad. So, get myself some wiggle room, you know. Wow. Oh, you know what actually I'm gonna do? I'm putting this back. Sorry, man. <laughs> putting this back. And I'm getting a very large Diet Dr. Pepper, because those are really good. You gotta get the biggest cup they have. Go for the crushed ice. Oh yeah. That's like the good kind of ice too. Check that out. Then we're gonna do Diet Dr. Pepper. Good measure. And go ahead and pay for this. We are good. No, I guess it was two. Then they switched to four for a while. Now they went back to two. How are you doing today? What are you? Good. What's the drink today? Oh, uh, yeah, I think 207. so. 207. Thank you.
Would you like your seat? Uh, no thanks. Okay. Have, Have a good, good day. Yep, you too. but I'd rather have a fork, you know what I mean? to f the food cam, I guess. Um, so I've clipped this onto my bowl of food uh, that I just warmed up. Um, and I'm trying not to get quinoa on the clip, but it's really hard to eat this with a spoon. I mean, not hard, but like I can't, it's not, I can't stab things with a fork, things I want, but hey, look, it's chicken. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would attach it to this bowl. It's kind of cool. Um, just curious to see how it looks in the, uh, in the, uh, end result, sweet potato. Um, a couple things. When I just did the 360 video in the Flying J, it was in 24 frames per second. This one... I am trying out 60 frames per second just to see what it looks like. It is less of a resolution, but it's, you know, twice as fast almost. Over twice as fast. Or, over twice as many frames, I should say. Um, I guess you could do slow-mo with 60 frames per second, but it would be much better to do it with 120 frames per second. 
which I think this can do in hero mode, I'm not sure. Well, anyway, I'm gonna finish this and hit the road again. <laughs>